Hello, everyone. Thanks for listening to Wake Up, Look Up, a podcast where we connect events happening in real time to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm Zach Wyrock. And in today's episode, we're talking about the dirty secret of social media CEOs. We're basing this on an article that came out recently in The Atlantic. And what the article was trying to do is show that social media CEOs, those who sell products to us and to our children, those who, at least in the case of Mark Zuckerberg, will actually go before Congress and argue that social media is a net positive for teenagers' mental and emotional health, that overwhelmingly these CEOs do not let their own children use their products. In fact, let me hit you with some facts. The TikTok CEO, for example, does not let their children use TikTok. The Google CEO restricts their children from using a smart device until age 11. Bill Gates doesn't give his kids a smart device until they're 14. Uh, The Snapchat CEO, this one is my favorite, limits any screen engagement at all for their children to 90 minutes a week. In fact, the article makes the point that there are two practices in the Bay Area that reinforce this idea that they don't sample their own products. The first is that there's a stipulation that is widely held in the Bay Area for nannies that says that nannies cannot allow children to be on social media or any device at all. In other words, these tech CEOs will fire a nanny who lets their children use their products. In addition to that, the prominent private schools in the Bay Area, which are patronized by these families, restrict any smart device usage until the eighth grade. So in other words, what these CEOs are saying is that their products, which they're selling to you and your children, are not good enough for their children. Their nannies will be fired if they let their kids use it, and they cannot go to a school where these devices are allowed. Listen, the reason for that is simple. The data is overwhelming that social media is harmful for children, that it leads to low self-esteem, increased anxiety and depression, increased instances of bullying. It exposes kids to pornography and a whole world of things that you don't want them exposed to. Listen, don't listen to the advertising campaigns of these companies. Listen to the parenting decisions of the people who lead them. And I say this because if you have been holding out, if you're letting your children use social media, I'm hopeful that this will change your mind. And if you have been making the right decision, that is keeping your kids off social media, I hope this will strengthen your resolve. I know as a parent, it's often hard to fight with your kid for your kid. It it can be easy to ask yourself, am I being silly? Am I being ridiculous? Am I being that parent who has the stupid rule? Well, listen, don't take my word for it. Listen to these company CEOs when they tell you you're not crazy, that the smart parenting decision is keeping your kids off of social media. Don't listen to what they're selling you. Follow their own example. And keep in mind that as Christian parents, God has given us children who belong to him. Our job is to keep them safe, to create environments where they can mature and flourish as promising young adults, to put them in environments where they can be healthy, where they can view themselves and others rightly. Social media isn't helping you do any of those things. You are not first accountable to the culture. You are not first accountable to your teenager. You're accountable to God. In fact, if you have a teenager, why don't you have them listen to this episode with you, or at least by themselves, and then talk about it with you? Ask your teenager why they think it is that the TikTok CEO doesn't want their own kids on TikTok, why the Snapchat CEO limits screen time to 90 minutes a week. Don't we think that these CEOs have the most data about whether their products are helpful or harmful? So what are they telling you? Teenager, listen, you have a whole life ahead of you to use all kinds of technology. Don't be too quick to ignore the fact that these CEOs have a dirty secret. Their products are good enough for you but not good enough for their own kids. Listen, you matter just as much as their kids. Say no to social media, not because I told you to, but because they did. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. While you're here, we'd love to ask you to hit subscribe or to like so you get future content. If you listen to the audio version too, make sure you leave a review and a comment. That really helps. Consider sharing it on social media and helping us get the word out. And hey, while you're here, check out all the other content that Christ Community Chapel is putting out, including the videos that are around me right now.